Hello! Today we're going to do a lesson on op art. Op art is short for optical illusion art. We are going to also be reviewing spheres, which is one of our shapes in color in, in art theory, and then as well as value. So the value is the range of color from light to dark. And this is what your project is going to look like. Um, it does not have to go horizontally. You could do it vert vertically. Also, this is a vanishing point over here, so I want you to get familiar with the term vanishing point if you don't already know it. So uh, you only need a pencil if you don't have colors. That's fine. Uh, you will need a straight edge, and you'll need an eraser if you need it for any particular reason, and then a piece of paper as well as different sizes. So you can do more than three circles, but you need at least three, and so they should be different sizes. So I have something really large, and then I have something really, really small, uh, and then I have something in between. And you could do lids of jars or something like that. So the first thing that you're going to do is pick where you want your spheres to go, and whatever direction you choose, you need to make sure that it's smallest to biggest as you go. So you don't want this little one to be in the middle, unless, of course, you're adding different sizes, but at least three should go from largest to smallest or smart, smallest to largest. So I'm going to do my vanishing point way up here on this one. You could do it here, you could do it from a corner, you could do it from a top. And then I'm going to take my smallest first. And I'm going to set that right here and trace around. And then I'll take my next largest and do that right here. And then the largest of all, I will do right here. Okay, now you really need this vanishing point because that's where your straight edge is going to be starting every single time. So I'm going to, I'll show you in just one second, it's just too hard at that angle. I'm going to take my first line and I start at this point and then I draw the line down. And you're going to continue using that vanishing point all the way. So space out your next line where you want it and make sure it's not too skinny or you'll have so much coloring in to do. And then my next one. And when you get to the point where you have your circles, make sure that you don't cross through the circles. So you want to stop and not go through the circles there so I didn't cross through it. And you keep going, always using that one particular spot to set your ruler down and work from there. This one is a partially started one, so I'm going to show you next. If you do not have colored pens, crayons, um, some kind of colored Sharpie, something like that, you can use your pencil. But you have to go from light to dark or dark to light on these. So I'll turn it this way. So think about where the light is coming from. And wherever it's darkest, you want to press really, really hard. So you want to get, I'm just going to use my pencil for this for those of you who uh, don't have colors. And you're going to press really hard and you're going to keep going like that until a certain point at which you want to lighten up the pressure with the pencil. And of course, if you're using a pen, um, like markers or something like that, you might need to take a couple of shades of your markers. And as I keep going, I'm just going to get lighter and lighter with pressure. And I want to make sure that I leave some part of it white. This little back part can be dark as well, darkish. Okay, so you have three different shades 
of the same color pencil. These get alternate, uh, alter, alternated, so skip one and do black, white, black, white, black, white, or whatever colors that you choose. And I cannot wait to see your artwork.